Hello guys and welcome to a new tutorial. In the previous videos I have shown you how you can detect any peak in a time series data and then how you can collate the RR interval. The RR interval is very important because it is used to calculate different features of a time series data. So detecting an accurate peaks is very important. So in this tutorial I will show you how you can design a function that will look for any anomalies in the detected peak array. This can be done by using calculated RR intervals. So if the interval between the two adjacent peaks is greater than 30% of the mean RR interval, then all those peaks are considered to be anomalies and should be removed. So the input to this function will be our detected peak list, the RR intervals, the beats and dictionary data so the dictionary data already has rr intervals indexes of rr intervals absolute difference square absolute difference peak list moving average and beat and standard deviation so let's design this function so first of all we have to make sure that we do not overwrite the original input data so let's store it in a separate array Next we have to calculate the mean of this RR interval. We have to define some upper and lower threshold values. As mentioned previously that we will define that whether the interval between two adjacent peaks is greater than 30% of the mean value or not. So the upper and lower threshold can be designed as So here what I am trying to do is that the upper threshold value should be equal to the mean value plus at least 300 points. So if the 30% of the mean which was the original condition, so if the 30% of the mean is less than 300, so at least add 300 points to the mean or else just add the 30% to the mean value. Similarly for the lower threshold. I am keeping it at least mean value minus 300 points. If the 30% of the mean value is less than 300, so it will keep it at least mean value minus 300 points or else it will keep it as mean value minus 30% of the mean value. So after defining this threshold, let us apply this threshold on the RR interval and update our peak list and beats. That can be done as After removing the peaks and beeps, we have to recalculate the RR intervals as well. So let us define a binary output. So whenever the peak is removed, the variable will store 0 and if the peak is not removed, the variable will store 1. So at the end of the function, we have to return this dictionary data. So this is showing error here. It should be if so one if i is in peaks or else store zero if i is in removed peak. Let us run an example. First we will calculate RR intervals. 
and then we will update the detected peaks. So here you can see there is nothing in the binary peak list which means this condition is not correct. Let's change this condition. Now save this and return the example. Okay, so now you can see we have binary peak list and all are one. That means none of the peaks has been removed, which you can see here. So in this way, you can design a function that will look for anomalies and return remove peaks and beats. And we'll also return a binary variable having zero for remote peak and one if the peak is not removed. So this function will be used to update the RR interval as well. So in the next video, I will show you how you can do that, uh, which will be the second part of this video. So stay tuned, hit like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.